This man is the husband of one of these three young ladies. What is your name, please? My name is Ruth Patterson, and this is my husband, Walter. My name is Ruth Patterson, and this is my husband, Walter. My name is Ruth Patterson, and this is my husband, Walter. Only one of these young ladies is the real Ruth Patterson. The other two are imposters and will try to fool this panel. Tom Poston, Joyce Davidson, Donna Michi, and Kitty Carlisle on to Tell the Truth with your host, Bud Collier. Truth brought to you this week by Anison, the headache remedy with a special combination of ingredients to relieve pain, fight depression, and calm jittery nerves. Anison. Good evening, panel. Will you please open your envelopes and take out your affidavit cards for the first time tonight and follow along with me as I read from this first one. I, Ruth Patterson, work under the professional name of Victoria Zacchini. My husband, Walter Patterson, works under the professional name of Walter Zacchini. We are performers with Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus. Twice a day, seven days a week, we are shot out of a cannon together. Signed, Ruth Patterson. Three ladies to start off tonight, panel, and one gentleman accompanying each of them. These three ladies, each claiming to be Ruth Patterson, who gets shot out of a cannon at the circus. And we'll start this first round of questioning tonight with Tom Poston. Tom? Thank you, Bud. Uh, number two, which, uh, which act goes on last at the circus? Our act goes on very last. It's after the finale. Thank you. Number three, Mrs. Patterson, how many people work the actual act? All three of us. Thank you. Number one? Who besides you and Mr. Patterson? Mr. Zucchini, who shoots us. And number one, <laughs> what, uh, what propels you through the air? Compressed air. Compressed air. Number two, how is that released? By a piston apparatus inside the barrel of the cannon. Number three? It's a double piston, one for my husband and one for me. <laughs> Oh, you don't both stand on the same platform? No, the barrel of the cannon is divided in two. Oh, I see. It doesn't... Joyce? Number one, uh, when was the big fire? That was Big in... circus fire. That was in Hartford. I don't know the year. Number two, do you know when it was? 1959. Number three, how does your husband differ from number one's husband? Well, <laughs> why did you ask number one? <laughs> All right, number one, how does your husband differ from number three's husband? <laughs> They're the same. <laughs> Good answer. That's Who were the companies number two that merged, uh, the circus companies that merged to make Ringling Brothers? Byron and Bailey merged with Ringling Brothers. Number one. Don? Uh, number one, what part of Italy is your husband's are your husband's ancestors from? Uh, the northern part. What, what, uh, what province? Do you know? No, I don't. Would you know number two? No, I don't know. Number three? He doesn't come from Italy. I beg your pardon? My it's... husband's ancestors don't come from Italy. They do not come from no, Italy? No, they don't. Uh, number uh, uh, one, what was uh, Concoliano famous for? A wire act. Well, number two, what did he do as, a, exactly? A low wire act balancing on one foot. Uh, number three, exactly what was his specialty, though, that g gained him all renown? Do you know? Well, it was a trapeze act. Uh, number, uh, uh, <laughs> number one, what does John Ringling look like? Well... How tall about? Blonde? What kind of haircut? Number two, would you know? Uh, he is around five foot ten inches tall. Yes. A rather receding hairline. Oh, around well, 65. <laughs> <laughs> number, uh, uh, three, how many are in your family? How many brothers, uh, in your husband's family, rather? Ah, uh, three boys and a girl. Kitty. Well, I'm so thrilled at having one of your, two of you here, because I've seen the act, and it is simply fantastic. And I really want to ask personal questions, such as, number one, 
What does it feel like when you are flying through the air to that net that catches you? Well, when you're inside the cannon, you feel a shove, and then you come out of the cannon and, and you turn a half somersault and land in the net. But number two, what does it feel like when you're really flying along? Can you think at all? There isn't really time to think between leaving the piston. It, I compare it to somewhat like a jet when you're taking off and you're ascending into space. You get this, this feeling of urgency. Number three, what do you wear in the act? I wear a white leather suit. Number one, who is the person that propels you? Right, we won't find out this time because that's all the time we have paddles. So will you kindly get to the business of marking your ballot? And without consultation, vote, if you will, now for number one, number two, or number three. The team of challengers, as usual, will receive $250 for every incorrect vote. Are we all set? Everybody marked? All right, Tom, for whom did you vote? I just, I was so stunned by number three saying that her husband didn't come from Italy that I wanted to vote for because who else would, would be uh, uh, brave enough to say something like that if it weren't true? But I like the way number one answered the uh, questions, so I voted for number one. Joyce, which one do you think is the real one? I voted for number three because she has a kind of light in her eye that says she'd like to be shot out of a cannon. <laughs> <laughs> and also, if her name is Patterson, he couldn't have come from Italy. That's why. Okay. Don, what about your vote? I voted for uh, number two, uh, uh, <laughs> Bud. Funkoliano was not a trapeze act. It was, a, uh, it was a slack wire act. As a matter of fact, his big specialty was a backward somersault. I think he was the first one to ever do it, if I'm not mistaken. And also, she gave a very accurate description of John Ringling. And finally, Kitty, your vote. I voted for number two on two bases. One was that number three said it was a Con Colino did a trapeze act, and I thought it was a wire act. The way number two looked at Mr. Patterson, I thought that was her husband. <laughs> <laughs> now, if, if it's not her husband, I've created a terrible crisis. <laughs> He's not her husband. He better go home alone. Exactly. <laughs> or be careful the next time he's in that cannon with her. All right, there we have it now. Our minds are made up, so to speak, in a matter of saying. And we're about to find out now which one of these three ladies is the real lady who gets shot out of a cannon at the circus with her husband. So let's do it the right way. Walter, would you please pick out your own wife, the real Ruth Patterson? have been inclined to vote for her. She looks like the smallest ammunition. <laughs> Let's find out about the others now. Number two, would you tell us your real name and what you really do? My name is Isora Cortman, and I work in the promotion department of Mademoiselle Magazine. Thank you very much. Now, number three, uh, you're certainly not shot out of a cannon. What do you do, and what is your real name? My name is Alice Gray, and I underwrite life, health, and accident insurance in the New York Life Insurance <laughs> being shot out of a cannon doesn't enter into those policies at any time either. Well, let's check up now and see what we have. We had only one correct and three incorrect. At $250 each, that means a total of $750, ladies. That should keep those smiles in your faces yeah. for a while. Anyway, and that is from Anison, as well as the gift package of fine products from the makers of Anison. Thanks so much for being with us. Hope you had fun. We enjoyed having you here. Good night and good luck to you. Now here is news for what to do for pain of headache, neuritis, neuralgia. From doctors' offices across the country come survey replies of what doctors recommend for headache, neuritis, neuralgia pain. Three out of four doctors recommend the ingredients in Anison. Doctors know with most headaches, pain mounts up. You feel dull, depressed. Tension puts nerves on edge. Now, aspirin has just one pain reliever. Add buffering, you still get just one. Only Anison of the four leading headache remedies has special ingredients to relieve pain fast, help overcome depression fast, relax tension fast. I feel great. Headache's gone and my stomach isn't upset. And no wonder. Anison is like a doctor's prescription. 
That is, a combination of ingredients, a particular combination that brings fast relief without upsetting your stomach. Remember, aspirin, even with buffering, has only one pain reliever. Take Anison with ingredients three out of four doctors recommend. Anison for fast, fast, incredibly fast relief. Now, panel, may I introduce our next team of challengers? What is your name, please? My name is Beatrice Holland. My name is Beatrice Holland. My name is Beatrice Holland. Once again, panel, will you follow along with your copies of this affidavit? I, Beatrice Holland, am the chief cadet hostess at the United States Military Academy at West Point. As such, I am responsible for the social education of the cadets. I work with cadet hop managers on receiving line procedures and the proper techniques for introductions. I assist in the selection of those plebes who obviously need dancing lessons and help with the actual lessons. I issue information sheets on general etiquette and bulletins on the proper clothes to wear for June week. June is a very busy month for me. I am consultant on all phases of the traditional military weddings at the academy. I even issue an instruction sheet on the duties of the best man, signed Beatrice Holland. Now, we have panel, three ladies this time, all claiming to be Beatrice Holland, chief cadet hostess at West Point. And let's begin this round with Kitty Carlisle. Kitty? Thank you, bud. Uh, number one, where do you live? Uh, on the coast. You do? At West Point. Mm -hmm. Number two, going up the river toward <coughs> Albany, which side is the point on? It's on the left. Going up the river, it's on the left. Right. Uh, number three, what are the duties of the best man? Well, he... He helps the groom. He does all the dirty work, shall we say. <laughs> well. <laughs> Number one. where you're sitting, you understand. What's that place where they kiss all the time? What's it called? Kissing Rock. Kissing Rock? On Flirtation Walk. Uh-huh. Uh, Number two, why do they have all those swords up when they're getting married at West Point? They use them in military weddings. Always? If it's a military wedding, yes. Tom? Thank you. Number three, what is the newest Latin American dance? Do you happen to know? The newest Latin American? Uh, well, cha-cha? Uh, well, it's, it's new and very lovely. Do you know number two? What's the newest Latin American dance? The merengue. That's a little newer. Number one, is there one since then? Indeed there is, and I can't think of the name of it, but we're not teaching it yet. <laughs> not teaching it. <laughs> Number one, do you happen to know when Dave Schwartz played on the football team at West Point? No. Number two, maybe you can tell me what are the proper clothes for June week? And how do they differ from other weeks? Well, actually, uh, June week lasts three or four days, and so you would need formal clothes and afternoon clothes. No, thank you. Joyce? See, I saw, I saw a story about this recently. How many, number one, do you have in your class? I beg your pardon, what do you mean, the class? You mean a, in, there your, are, in your dancing class? Oh, well, this varies. Um, depends on how many need instruction. Well, in other words, the, the plebes are checked out, and those that need it badly we call EI, extra instruction, and we teach them. Number two, what age group are they in? Well, they're usually between 17 and 21. Number three, what is the name of the largest building on the post? The largest building? The main building. Well, that is uh, Thayer Hall. Number one, uh... Don Amici. Number one, how, uh, uh, how long ago did the Yankees play there? Yankee baseball team? <laughs> Football? No. <laughs> <laughs> Not baseball. I know about it. No. I haven't really kept up. Number two, would you know? No, I Three, you, yeah, no, you wouldn't. Three? Yeah, no, I haven't kept either. up with uh, Number one, where did you go to uh, school? University of Washington. Number two? Where did you go to school? <clears throat> I didn't uh, go to college. I no. studied music rather than college. And number three? In Kentucky. Kentucky University? Westland. Fred, that's it. That's all the time we have on this one. So once again, with pencil in hand and ballot in front of you, will you please mark them? Of course, without consultation, as always, and vote this time for number one, number two, or number three. <laughs> All ballots marked, okay. Tom, for whom this time? I voted for number three. 
I just like her spirit, I guess, and I think it would take a lot of spirit to really manhandle all those rough, tough boys that go to school up there. Joyce, which one did you select? Uh, I'm probably going to feel as though the real Joyce Davidson should be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> But I voted for number one because I think she could probably charm the plebes up there. Don, what about you? Oh, I, uh, I voted for number one. I wish I'd thought of the reason that Joyce had instead of uh, <laughs> and been in a position ahead of her so I could have said it. Not that the other two aren't just as charming. I really don't have a good reason. I, I, I didn't think the questions were sufficiently enlightening to uh, do anything but guess. All right, Kitty. Well, I must be all wrong because I voted for number one on the, uh, for the reason that I thought going up the river toward Albany, West Point was on the right. <laughs> uh, no, I guess not. Oh, well, there you are. Wow. <laughs> Remind me to never go on a boat with you. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, I thought, thought number maybe, one. Maybe you were considering rowing in a boat. In that case, it would be on your right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's find out now how right or wrong we may be. This is our own particular moment of truth as we learn the proper identity of the one who is the one that claims to be the one that she is. So in this case, since the votes are in, the minds are all made up. Ladies and gentlemen, since we've been discussing etiquette, Mr. Bud Collier and the panel request the pleasure of your company at the revelation of the true identity of the cadet hostess of the United States Military Academy. So will the real Miss Beatrice Holland, RSVP. Stand up, please. <laughs> <laughs> well, she took the that time, panel, all the way down the line. Wow, that's a good windfall for the rest of them. Number one, would you tell us your real name and what you really do, please? You've got most of the vote. <laughs> I'm complimented. I'm Betty Sanford, and I design kitchens and bathrooms. <laughs> <laughs> and number three, the same about you. Your real name and what you do. I'm Betty Sample Fitz. I have traveled extensively with my husband, Gonsal Fitz, and I'm the big game hunter. Big game hunter. <laughs> Challenges, you really did it. A clean sweep. There wasn't one correct vote. That means four incorrect. Look at them spending the money already. <laughs> that means a total of $1,000 from Anison and a gift package of fine products from the makers of Anison. Thanks for the fun you gave us. Good night to you and God bless you. Thank you. Now, here is a message to restore normal foot comfort. Stop. Cutting corns may be dangerous, painful. To safely remove corns or calluses in days, just drop on Free Zone, lift off corns. As you drop on Free Zone, it works instantly to relieve pain, form a protective cushion. Continued as directed for several days, Free Zone loosens the corn so you lift it off safely, painlessly. No more dangerous cutting, no bulky corn plasters. Just drop on Free Zone, lift off corns. Get liquid Free Zone. Now, a word about Arrowax. Scuff it. Yes, you can scuff it. Spill on it. Yes, you can spill on it. Track dirt on it. Track dirt on it, too. Wipe, then buff, and the lasting shine comes back. It's new Arrowax. The shine lasts longer by far than other leading brands because only Arrowax has the lasting shine formula that shines back through roughest wear. The Arrowax shine lasts longer by far. Saves 23 cents a quart over other leading brands. Now, panel, let's meet our third team of challengers. What is your name, please? My name is Jean-Paul Mitten. My name is Jean-Paul Mitten. My name is Jean-Paul Mitten. Follow along once again, panel, accent or not. I, Jean-Paul Mitaine, am the director of the Roquefort cheese industry of Roquefort, France. Each year, I travel extensively in the interest of cheese. I am president of an organization called the International Commission for Dairying in Warm Countries. My specialty, however, is non-cow milk products. Cheese made from the milk of sheep, goats, buffaloes, and horses. Signed, Jean-Paul Mitaine. This time, 
As you can see, panel, we have three stalwart gentlemen, each one claiming to be the cheese expert extraordinary Jean-Paul Mitain. And we will begin this round with Joyce Davidson. Joyce? Number one, what does buffalo's milk taste like? <laughs> it's not a cow milk. I know, but don't you drink it? No, thank you. <laughs> Why bother then? <laughs> no, number number two, where is Roquefort in France? Roquefort is in uh, near Marseille. It is in the south of France. Number three, how long have they been produce, producing cheese there? For oh, for more than two thousand years. Number one, how do they get it to smell like that? <laughs> no answer. Roquefort cheese smells very good. <laughs> no. Don Amici, uh, uh, number two, what is the Italian uh, equivalent of Roquefort? Uh, the equ Italian equivalent? Yes. Uh, Martenzola. Pardon me? Martenzola. Number three, what would it be? There is no equivalent because it don't well, make... <laughs> it's, it's a cheese that we, we, we think of as being the, pretty much the same, only it's Italian cheese. Number one? Mozzarella. Uh, <laughs> number two, uh, what is uh, uh, Roquefort made of? What kind of milk? Roquefort is made from goat's milk. Uh, number three, how long is it aged? Three, three weeks. Number one, would you agree? Three months. And number two? Oh, two months. Two months? Uh, <laughs> number two, is, it, is the cheese better with more grain or less grain? More grain. More. Uh, number... Kitty. Well, I'm delighted again to have these three gentlemen because I want to ask number three, when my Roquefort cheese forms a kind of a fuzzy thing on the top of it, <laughs> <laughs> is it still edible? Yes. Just sort of scrape off the fuzz and eat it. Yes, uh, I see. Number one, what is caprology? What? Caprology. I don't know. Well, do you know number two, caprology? Number three, caprology? I don't know. Number one, what is the average output of butterfat for a goat per year? I don't know. Number two? It is difficult to determine. Number three, do you know the average butterfat output? What is the average milk output? Number one, if you don't like uh, buffalo milk, what do you do with the buffalo cheese? I, I eat. Is it product. good? What it's about good. horse cheese, number two? Number cheese, horse cheese, kumis. Very good. Very good. Tom. <laughs> <laughs> number three, I think Tom is still scraping the fuzz off that cheese, you certainly. <laughs> what do you do with the fuzz, number three? <laughs> <laughs> number three. <laughs> Uh, is, is Frank Heller an expert on cheeses? I don't know him. Number two, do you know Frank Heller? Is he an expert on I cheeses? I do not know him. Number one? No. Well, he is. Number three... <laughs> <laughs> He's a big expert on cheeses. <laughs> All right, once again, we come to that final moment when we find whether we've been guessing right or wrong, and if you're playing along with us at home, get your scorecards ready and see how well you did in this round, too, as we discover which of these three gentlemen is the real cheese expert. So will the real... Jean-Paul... Oh, wait, 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 oh, we haven't voted. Wait, 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 wait. I did that to you. No idea. <laughs> you see what happened? I had a little too much... Everyone in shop right, let you panel. go on, but yes. <laughs> follow along with your copies of this affidavit. <laughs> Don, for whom did you vote? Wait a minute, wait a minute. We didn't oh, you haven't voted yet? Well, yet. mark your ballot then, if you will, please, without consultation, vote for number one, <laughs> number two, or number three. Fuzz all marked? All right, then, Tom, for whom did you vote? I voted for number three because he was the only one who didn't give an actual statement on the. Uh, Italian equivalent of Roquefort, which is Gorgonzola, of course. <gasps> of course. Oh. Joyce, your vote, please. Well, um, be because they're, well, no, because they're all men, I don't really believe any of them. <laughs> <laughs> Three, because uh, the same reason that Tom gave, and he looks as though he loves Roquefort. All right, Don. I voted for uh, uh, number two, uh, Bud, he, 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 he mispronounced the name. He said Morgonzola, and it's Gorgonzola. And number three, of course, didn't know it. Uh, so I don't know. 
Number one's a mozzarella, I know that. <laughs> well, I'm a fool because I voted for number one. Of course it isn't mozzarella, really. But he fooled me because he said that they aged the cheese three months, two, three, three months. And I didn't believe that my... Roquefort could smell as and be as strong as it is within three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we have it once again. With our votes in and our minds made up, we come to that moment of revelation again. Let's discover which one of these three gentlemen is now the real cheese expert. I'm now on the right side of the Hudson, you understand. <laughs> okay, will the real Jean Paul Mitaine please stand up? <laughs> Number one, would you tell us uh, your real name and what you really do, please, sir? My name is François Bertrand, and I am export manager of Christian Dior perfumes. Thank you, sir. <laughs> and number two, your real name and what you really do, please. My name is Paul Thomas. I'm an art dealer. I deal in old masters. Something missing here. What happened to the accent? I live here in New York, and I have no accent, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Not even a New York, York accent. <laughs> okay, we check our score then and find out that there were two incorrect votes this time. At $250 each for a total of $500 for Madison. Not bad for the evening, but kind of expensive for the panel, I must say. In any event, you also receive a gift package of fine products from the makers of Madison. And our thanks for being here with us tonight. Good night and good luck to you. <laughs> Well, that's all we have time for tonight. Uh, Kitty, along with my mistake and yours about West Point, I just got a phone call that said that West Point is actually located on an island in the Thames. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> good night, panel. <laughs> good night, Bud. <laughs> Bud Collier saying good night from Anderson and reminding you to tell the truth. <laughs> to tell the truth is a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production. The name in our mailbox is Porter. To our friends, we're Pete and Gladys. And we're at home next on most of these stations. Drop in. To Tell the Truth has been brought to you by the liquid medication that removes corns or calluses in days, Free Zone. Relieves pain as it removes corns without corn plasters. Johnny Olson saying good night from To Tell the Truth. This program was pre-recorded. <laughs>